When you start fishing, uh, and say river fishing especially, then they ask, you ask what type of fly should you tie. And one of the first flies I'll probably mention is a, a fly called the Pathogen Orange. Now, it's so famous uh, and so productive that it's easily uh, a fly that you could fill your box with and catch right through the season, I would think. Uh, it's a great all-round wet fly, and if you're into wet fly fishing, there's obviously many other styles. But the pathogen, pathogen orange is one of the most famous flies you could tie uh, for the river. Now, the hook I'm using, this is a fully mill, it's an all-round medium wired hook, size 14. I'm going to use the traditional silk. This is the Pearsel silk, and the gossamer, uh, an orange. Now, to buy it nowadays, it'll just come in like, a, like a plastic spool instead of a wooden spool. I, 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 over the years, or 30 years, I've got one or two of the old spools, so it's the same stuff really. But the first thing you have to do is run the wax through it. You have to wax this silk, and this thread, and then basically start it. I usually start a turn or so from the eye, and then work my way down. Remove the waste piece. And then wind to the tip or to the point of the hook. Now, you can rib the fly, meaning just come up with the thread like a rib. Or you can, what most would probably do is come back up with touch and turns. All the way up. Now, partridge hackle. Nice, marked brown partridge. Just remove the fluff from the sides. Stem may break like that. Always, most times it does that. Now what I'm going to do is I don't need all this. Take away what I don't need. And even that's probably a wee tad too much, but we'll leave it at the moment. You tie it in by the tip. There's many ways you could tie the feather in. It's, it's basically up to yourself. This is the way I've always done it. Using the hackle plast to reveal the tip of the hackle works. Now make sure you've got wax on your thread. You've got the front of the hackle facing yourself. A couple of fibers jump forward there, I just want them. You could trim the tip of the hackle, but I always like to draw it back with a couple of turns. Uh, just for strength. Now I've fished these over and over, I've got these flies last, even though they look very delicate, they do last. Now, hackle pliers. Now, what I'm going to do here is draw back the fibre. I'm just going to use up the whole hackle here. I'd rather overdress the fly slightly, and you can always take stuff off. And I've never had any issue with um, patching orange being like, dressed like this. Uh, I think they actually work better at times. You're always doing a turn in front of the other. Cross your thread. Once. Draw it back. Keep the thread tight. Pull it over. Now because you're using these silks you have to be so basically tying things off as you whip finish as well. Now let's get whip finish. One. Two. Three. Oops, I've got a wee bit of fluff there. Just there's a wee bit of fluff caught my thread, so make sure that's out of the way. Tighten up. Trim your thread away. You can break that off. And there we are. And that's basically your partridge and orange. Uh, simple fly. Fibre length can be shorter if you want, it can be slightly longer. I uh, have all the different methods, all the different ways, uh, lens. It doesn't really bother me too much. As I say, you can always, if you feel that's too much, you can take some of that off. But I find that's okay. Can draw it back so it's sitting right. And all you have to do now is varnish the fly. See, tiny bit of varnish onto the head.
See, it's a very simple dressing. It's very. It's like it looks like nothing, but it, you'd be amazed at the amount of the number of fish you can catch with this. I'm just gonna clean the eye. Turn the eyes clean out. Like that. And that's the famous passage in orange. We say a very simple flight tie.